Hey guys, I'm here with just a quick update for my free account. Uh, looks like I need to play Academy or Haven. I don't really have good decks for either of those. And Enchant Artist and Hero Time. Wow, what an awkward set of daily quests. Can I forfeit any of these? Okay, Inferno or Necropolis, I can handle that. Three duels, I can handle that. Academy or Stronghold? Okay, yeah, I can handle all of these now. Awesome. Uh, yeah, those were pretty awkward, since I didn't have any good enchantment-based decks, I didn't have any Academy or Haven decks, I didn't have, like, any heroes with actual hero abilities, so I couldn't really do any of those. Anyways, I think I have a pack. Yeah, I got this pack just randomly from a quest. I can't remember what the quest was. Okay, a third Cassandra that I didn't need. Yeah. Nothing exciting. Uh, actually, here are my statistics. I lost my first game off camera, so now my win percentage is all the way down to 95%. Terrible. But yeah, anyways, I just played a little bit more Stronghold, some more Inferno. Uh, I don't think there's anything I want to add to the decks. I didn't get any other cards other than just that one pack. So, let's... Uh, what format our tournaments today is it standard that's oh, open okay what well, is jackpot weekly okay i'm not playing either of those all right let's just hop on ladder with inferno i guess let's play a couple quick games actually just one i think this isn't going to be a long video and then after the video i might go ahead and get those daily quests right now might also do that in the morning i really don't know this is just slowly coming along. Definitely, now that I'm pretty much done the campaign, it's slowed down a lot. There's still a couple missions for me to do in the campaign, so I think I'm going to be getting a total of 10 more wild cards from it, and some amount of gold, whatever that adds up to. I'll probably do the puzzles on camera as well, even though like I think I know the solutions to all of them. It can act as a little bit of a tutorial. The sand is fine-ish. It's a little bit slower than I would like, but whatever, it's fine. Yep, just start off with this. If I had had the Dragon Crystal, this hand would have been insane, because I could have gone Maniac into Juggernaut, like, on my second turn. Whereas now, I'm just doing nothing on my second turn. I'm preparing to play a Juggernaut on my third turn. wonder what he's doing. Nothing turn one, even with the Dragon Crystal, means that he probably won't have anything to do this turn either. The nice thing about him getting farther... Oh, I was going to say, the nice thing about him getting farther behind is that if he does have something to do, I can probably firebolt it and kill it, but that isn't true at all. Let's just run away. We will play a Juggernaut in front of this. Maybe he'll attack us. Chances are he'll just move. Next turn, I could potentially, like, firebolt this, forked firebolt this on another thing, and then kill it. It's so bad, though. It's getting a lot of might. Maybe Firebolt, Fork Firebolt, and then kill it will be okay, actually. If he's going like this all out on things. I was also kind of hoping to have drawn something to fill in my fourth turn by now. Looks like that isn't happening either. Come on, if you're using the Dragon Crystal for resource, you should know what you're doing. Praetorian. Combat Guard 1. Uh, that's a shame. I don't really want to attack that. I could just run away with both of these guys. It's pretty bad. Could, like, Firebolt, Fork Firebolt, run away and kill this. It might be better. Sure. Actually, like... The main reason why I want to do this is because it just, like, is a thing to actually do. It's pretty awkward to just have nothing to do on that turn. If I could have played the Maniac behind my Juggernaut, that would have been much better. But, nope, this Lesser Glory is just going to keep doing crazy amounts of work. Vanguard? Okay, that doesn't bother me at all. Huh. 
Yeah, so I'm going to campfire, which will allow me to kill this, and then also play this. Very good. He has a lot of cards in his hand, and it's a little bit scary, but next turn I'm going to get to play a second Bounce Succubus and start nugging him for four a turn. And I don't think he's really going to have an easy way to deal with these. If he had, like, Lightning Bolts, but he's still a turn off of that. Angel Commander. Hmm. Yeah, I figured that would just go there. Hmm. No way to sacrifice my Hellfire Bloater. It would have been a serious consideration to just attack, attack, and then bloater and sacrifice it, but that is obviously just not even a consideration now. I think just hit him for four, hit him for four more with the Succubuses. I don't really want to play another Maniac. Let's just draw and see what we get. Campfire? Uh, uh, awkward. Let's just line everything up again. He's certainly on quite the clock right now, and a week of the Mercenaries face-up is good for me. Word of Light, that's the main thing that I was afraid of with playing the second Maniac. But it's fine. Actually, yeah, I was gonna say he needs to play another thing or else he's just dead. As is. I can just like hide my succubuses and try to push for another four damage at some point. Uh, see what I draw again, maybe? Or just play a Hellfire Slave. And like a juggernaut. Yeah, let's just do that. So we'll move up here, we'll hide behind here, Hellfire, Slave, and Juggernaut. And I'm not gonna attack because then he'd get to kill me for free. So whatever, just hit him for another four. Now he has one turn to deal with my double bound succubuses, otherwise he just loses. Wait, why did I play this here? Okay, it ends up not mattering. I just realized I played that in a really terrible spot. Man, you guys should probably like not take advice from me if I'm gonna make plays like that. That was awful. <laughs> I just completely blanked. Alright, let's do one more. I think my Inferno quest was just do two games with Inferno, and that one was pretty fast. I love getting match made up this fast. Alright, versus a cat. Okay. This hand is awful. Uh, sand is better. I have the option of a turn one succubus, then I spend my second turn doing like nothing. I guess I spend my second turn playing Fort Firebolt. That's fine. Everything else will just be regular time. Okay. Let's get a second magic for Fort Firebolt if we want it. And the rest of our hand curves really nicely, so I'm not really worried about anything else. I'm not going to play in front of this, just because there's no reason to. I'm being aggressive enough. Next turn we have Osmotic Breeder, which, if we just followed up with like a Firebolt and a Forked Firebolt, it should be more than enough to like basically get so much control that it'll be almost impossible for him to come back. Okay, well, never mind. We're just going to Firebolt, Forked Firebolt this turn. Because uh, that'll clear his board and give us a ton of initiative. Next turn we potentially have Hellfire Maniac if we want to maintain board control. But, we'll see. Lots of campfires. Wow. Okay. That's real. Um, yeah, I guess Bound Succubus? Move down. Huh. No one expects the Warlord. Well, I don't know, maybe people do. I don't expect the Warlord. I guess I could have played Double Campfire there and played a Hatching Breeder, but it didn't really seem worth it. Maybe it was. Zephyria. Oh, man. Goodbye, Succubus. That's awful. That's the worst. How do I win now? Uh... 
What do I draw? Let's keep going. Just draw all the things. Mm. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. <sighs> so this is like definitely just going to deal a million damage to me. I don't really see a way around it. I should have just killed it with the Hellfire Maniac instead of playing the Succubus. I wasn't expecting a Zephyria to happen. It's on top. Yeah, that's fine-ish, I guess. I don't want to attack, though. But he's just going to kill me anyways. We're killing this for sure. Yeah, I guess we'll put it to one. Hopefully that makes it at least a little bit awkward for him to try to do things with it. I don't want to put anything that'll be too good for him to kill in front of the Warlord. I can't imagine he'll do anything other than just, like, hit me for five. Or even six after killing my Juggernaut. Ideally, he won't be able to deal with this succubus as well. Okay. Oh, God. This is not working out the way that I hoped. That's so much damage. Okay, well, I guess I just need to, like, play these. That actually kills the Zephyria. Probably just gonna take six. Actually, it's starting to get to the point where he might not be able to afford to make plays like that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, he apparently thinks that he can. Who am I to tell him that he's wrong? Huh. So if I attack, hit him for two. If I move the Hellfire Maniac up, then that doesn't kill the Centaur Archer. I could like play Osmotic Breeder and Hellfire Slave. That would still not kill a Centaur Archer. Huh. Leave the Hellfire Slave at one health. And then I also wouldn't be blocking his Storm Rage Hunter. I really don't see how I win this. I'm not sure if I like necessarily did anything wrong here. This is just too difficult. We're just gonna play a Succubus back here. I think I maxed out on stats actually. I'm not sure. I can't remember what this deck actually plays. Hmm. Yeah, too many things are good for him now. It's basically what it comes down to. Like, I'm going to have to use my Succubus to kill this Black Cell Clan Warlord, assuming it lives. And if it doesn't live, then I basically am going to have to cross my fingers for a Hellfire Bloater. Which could happen. I get two draws, and I do have a Week of the Dead available. Campfire on top? He's already drawn. That was really nice for me. That was a welcome mistake. Okay. Shredder just makes things that much more difficult, but it's manageable, at least. Hmm. Well, I would really like a Hellfire Bloater. Thank you so much. Kill this. Hellfire Bloater on this line. Move the Bound Succubus just like down or something. I don't even know. Don't really even care anymore. And then I have 10 resource, so I would get to play two things like an Osmotic Breeder and a Hellfire Slave. Fine by me. I'm still just not going to attack, I think. 
Uh, I should have attacked first. I'm gonna attack now. I changed my mind. Bloater. Deal with this line. Jeez. And then maybe even just a pair of slaves. I don't know. Should also have given consideration just drawing with my hero. Yep, there's the campfire that we knew he had. So, this Shredder can move up and attack. Oh, okay, he had to kill it to get at my Bound Succubus. I was really confused for a second there. <laughs> I go down to... No! Oh my goodness, what a combination. Okay, well, he played that really well. I don't regret that loss at all. That was an awesome game. So I'm going to queue back up, but you guys won't see this game because I'm going to end the video here. So I'll see you guys next time.